Hello and welcome you all for a webinar on scorpion poisons. I told you in the beginning of animal poisons that there are three major types of animal poisons. Snake poisons, scorpion poisons and cantharides poisons. So today we will study scorpion poisons. Whether it is asked in exams or not asked in exams, is not a question of you know, concern today because scorpion poisoning or scorpion scorpions uh, biting the people uh, is quite often and that is why we should know the toxicology of scorpion poisons you can see the scorpion here i'll show the scorpion again there are holders and it has got a long tail it is arthropod with you know eight legs and it has got a last joint with a sting. So that uh, will take uh, in the study of uh, scorpions today first and then we will study the venom of scorpion. Okay, there are more than 1250 species of scorpions available worldwide and uh, almost 100 species of scorpions are found in India itself. These scorpions are eight legged arthropods and have a hollow sting in the last joint of their tail. You saw that uh, sting in the picture. So it is uh, not the mouth which is dangerous in case of scorpion, but it is the tail end which is dangerous in case of scorpions. Okay. And the venom of scorpions is clear, colorless. Okay. Just uh, you can say the watery color, but it is slimy due to presence of toxolbumin which is a protein and it can be classified as either neurotoxic venom or hemolytic venom because some uh, you know scorpions purchase neurotoxic venom and some purchase hemolytic poison now you know what is neurotoxic and what is hemolytic so neurotoxic acts on the central nervous system and hemolytic acts on the blood so that is why this animal is actually dangerous, more dangerous than snake. But what has happened uh, to human being? Uh, it is a, it is an, uh, it is a, a small animal to uh, kill because uh, the quantity which is injected by the scorpion is very little, though it is highly potential and concentrate as compared to the venom of the snake because of little, you know, amount. Uh, there is no much risk to the life of the human being. Okay, Venom is a potent autonomic stimulator resulting in the release of massive amount of catecholamine from adrenals. So after a scorpion bite, uh, there uh, happens autonomic stimulation which results in the, uh, in the release of you know, catecholamine from the adrenals. The mortality uh, rate uh, due to scorpion boy, uh, you know, bite is almost negligible uh, because uh, I told you the size of the scorpion itself is so small that human weakness as compared to scorpion is very big. But it can be you know, fatal in case of children. Children can die due to a sting bite of scorpion. A big scorpion which is commonly called as ingri and uh, usually the scorpions, they are called as vinsu and or bichu in Hindi. Depends upon the size and the amount of venom injected by the scorpion in the body of human being. But they can kill small animals very easily. Okay. What signs and symptoms are produced due to a scorpion bite that we will see uh, in this uh, slide. Uh, in case, so of uh, uh, scorpion biting a uh, human being with hemolytic type of venom there will be a reaction mainly local you know the site where the sting bite take place and it simulates the viper snake bite so viper is a hemolytic snake and that produces local symptoms similar kind of local symptoms you will get in case of scorpion bite but the scorpion sting will have only one hole in the center of reddened area. And because, you know, the sting carries only one, you know, uh, needle-like portion. So there is only one hole. Whereas in case of viper bite, you will get 
two holes because of two fangs. So this is a difference between viper bite and hemolytic type of scorpion bite. Both are having hemolytic phenomena. Okay, the reddened area will carry only one hole in the center. The extremity uh, will have pain and edema. Usually, uh, you know, this uh, scorpion bite takes place on the limbs, upper limbs or lower limbs, extremities. And where uh, the sting bite take place, you know, scorpion sting bite take place, that area will get uh, swollen. So it looks edematous and it will give you severe type of pain. Okay. And signs and symptoms of neurotoxic venom now. Symptoms uh, produced by the uh, neurotoxic venom of scorpion uh, are similar to cobra bite because cobra bite uh, is of neurotoxic nature. The cobras contain neurotoxic venom. So the, there are usually no marked reaction in local area. So this is you know very very you know, uh, dangerous to identify uh, where the venom of scorpion uh, due to sting bite takes place that area will give you no signs and symptoms because cobra bite local signs are also actually uh, very less but the patient will Im uh, immediately uh, will have nausea and vomiting and thereafter he will have extreme restlessness there might be a fever and eventually there will be paralysis cardiac arrhythmia uh, if the condition is you know severe it will lead to convulsions coma and cyanosis respiratory depression and eventually death may occur within hours from pulmonary edema and cardiac failure so neurotoxic uh, scorpions are more dangerous than hemolytic scorpions as far as the life is concerned and this uh, neurotoxic venom bite of a scorpion can be diagnosed uh, by ELISA testing I just remember neurotoxic venom of scorpion scorpions is uh, is similar to that of a cobra bite and hemolytic venom of scorpions is similar to that of a viper bite so these are the two types of scorpions which we have to remember depending upon the signs and symptoms because from the body of the scorpion you cannot diagnose whether this scorpion is a neurotoxic or hemolytic only effects can be learned through a bite now they have to manage the bite and treat it appropriately in this case we have to immobilize the limb similarly how we do it in a snake bite we have to do same thing in the scorpion bite you have to immobilize the limb and apply a tourniquet above the location of the sting to avoid this further spread of that venom in the body and uh, uh, you have to pack the sting uh, in ice and uh, incise and use suction to try you have to try to take out the poison the venom from the, uh, the site where it has bitten and uh, wash it with the you know weak solution of ammonia uh, borax or potassium permanganate to cleanse it a uh, local anesthetic is usually used uh, uh, by the you know uh, uh, practitioners medical practitioners and it is injected at the site of the pain so 2% nocaine or 5% cocaine uh, you know lignocaine that is used and it is injected at the site of the pain and that will anesthetize the area itself so the nerve endings which causes pain which is carry the pain pain sensation that pain will get subsided and specific anti venin is also available for most of the species like see how we have an anti venin for snake bites we call them as asb anti snake venom or anti venin so similarly there are anti venin specific anti venin for uh, most of the species of scorpion bite and plus calcium gluconate can be given intravenous to control the local swelling uh, you know the site where the scorpion has bitten and uh, barbiturates are the allopathic drugs of uh, you know scheduled drugs scheduled drugs which reduce the convulsions if the patient 
enters into the convulsions he has to be given barbiturate and morphine is contraindicated morphine uh, is injectable which is used in allopathy that is contraindicated atropine is valuable to prevent pulmonary edema pulmonary edema uh, can be prevented with the help of atropine injection and uh, uh, with this we have ended the study of scorpions because uh, the animal is small and the study also is very small and the uh, you know uh, scorpion bites of children is of grave nature but mostly uh, adults are bitten by the scorpion because they work in the fields and uh, you know the areas where uh, usually the scorpions hide and uh, the question number one is what is true about the cobra poison because we are comparing this with the uh, scorpion uh, also so what is true about cobra poison the cobra poison is neurotoxic and uh, choline esterase is present in which type of snake because uh, choline esterase choline esterase is a enzyme of the snake which is uh, you know for the for the synapse you must have uh, you must be remembering acetylcholine so i nat but naturally it is a neuro neurotoxic poison so it is present in the elapid type of snakes and muscle paralysis caused by uh, sea snakes because sea snakes are myotoxic and what is true about the poisonous snakes is that the yeah, fangs are present big scales are long small heads are scales grew teeth true about poisonous snake that almost uh, uh, fangs are present in all the small but belly scale are small are small head scales we have to consider this too uh, that means belly scale are small uh, we have to skip this most characteristic feature of elapid snake Inflammation is neuroparalytic symptom because it is neurotoxic snake. And with this, we end this uh, small session on venom of uh, uh, scorpion. And uh, I just wait uh, uh, for another session to uh, follow through. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Any question?